Welcome to To End All Wars. I know a lot of guys really liked it when we played this the first time, and today I want to jump into the Western Front campaign as the Central Powers. Nothing else would be right. Get a monumental victory over the Entente foe. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the owner of the regions, guys. We've got a lot of work to do if we want to be successful. So let's get straight to it. Let's start setting up the front. The most important thing here is going to be to take Belgium as quickly as possible. That's really the most important part here is for us to take all of this territory, cover it, and also defend from any counterattacks along the main trench lines here. Now, I can already see that one general, which is going to be extremely important, is going to be Karl von Bülow here. So we're going to take von Bülow and actually separate him. It looks like he can take about 12 more in terms of size. I also want to go ahead and take Alexander von Kluck, although I'll be honest with you, I'm not, not a huge fan of Alexander von Kluck. Um, and he's going to go ahead and assist in that respect. Now, what I'm going to do with Alexander von Kluck is actually merge with Gorg von Markowitz. Uh, this is quite a useful general here, so I want to go ahead and merge with these guys, just make sure they have a nice beefy army together. Then we're going to take Von Einem, and with Von Einem, I'm going to go ahead and secure the rail bridge to the north. I'm also going to try to secure the forts at Antwerp, although I don't know if we should go for an offensive. We are going to go for an offensive, but my fear is that we just don't have enough men here um, to actually have a successful one. So let's hope that I'm wrong, of course, and that we have more than enough men to attempt the second one but just in case uh we'll go ahead and take a look so here we go i'm going to grab him as well and i'm going to take alexander and actually send him north also to antwerp uh, once again we're going to have to cut through the louvain region but i think we'll be okay and i will put him on the offensive the rest of these guys i will not i'm just going to keep them on pretty much what they're at now just standard movement and we've also got some reinforcements back here by Friedrich Sixt von Amen. Now we could either send these guys into Belgium or we could send them to the Western Front to assist us with operations there. And I think it's very important to go ahead and immediately get into uh, Belgium as quickly as possible. So we'll send this unit to the forts of Namur. And over here, if I can merge units together, I will. And it certainly looks like we can take uh, von Hausen here and merge him with quite a few other armies. In fact, what I'm going to do here, we're still uh, not in control of this city, of the city of Baston. So I'm going to have von Hausen go ahead and try and capture the city. And I'm going to send these units to reinforce his army. So we should have several large armies here on the Western Front. At least that's the idea. So let's see if that actually plays out. And if things go as planned, of course. Um, while I'm at it, I'll also bring all of this air support over. Uh, it's mostly just zeppelins and, of course, some biplanes, but anything helps. So let's get these guys over. It'll take a little bit longer. We could move them by rail to get them there quicker, and that's actually what we'll do here, just to make sure that our units arrive on time. Now, these units are not unlocked yet, but they will unlock at some point during this campaign. Once that occurs, I might consider... Um, actually doing some attacks into the Longvie and the Brie regions. I've been very successful launching attacks over here, and if we could cut off their rail line, we cause a lot of problems for the French. Enough talk, folks. Let's see how action goes here. We are going to proceed. We win the first volley, we win the first salvo, whatever you want to... Uh, there's probably not going to be in there initially, because we're not going on the offensive on anything but Antwerp. And I don't honestly think wrong and we'll roll Belgian sweep. Let's just hope that everybody follows orders and gets to where they're supposed to go. Then I'll be a lot happier and a lot more hopeful of things to come here. Come on, come on. So already the French are sending units to Longvie. This is what I was worried about, is this Longvie area um, can be quite frustrating and a source of constant reinforcements and support from the enemy. So it's something we want to keep an eye on. I also love to see that our general there did manage to take that city without a fight. Here we go. This is one of the larger battles. Our first engagement by Alexander von Kluck. And you know what, guys? We actually did extraordinarily well. Losing only 1,230, with the enemy losing 20,000 men, uh, which is just epic. We also have a number of generals here that assisted us during the battle. And it looks like if von Kluck has some support, he's not as awful as I initially thought he was. Of course, if he fights alone, he's he's no um, he's no von Habsburg or anything like this. Von Habsburg? Gosh, I really don't know my um, 
by generals. Um, he's, he's not really a well-known or incredible general. He's well-known, but from what I've seen in terms of combat, he doesn't, doesn't really impress me in the slightest. Alright, beautiful. Look at that army. So we've got a beautiful army there in the Ardennes. Now we can actually do a lot with this, but I think what we're mostly going to be doing with this army is trying to move into the rest of Belgium, specifically the North sector here. So another, he's no Von Bulow, that's what it is, that's what I meant to say. He's no Karl Von Bulow. So another decent victory here, 6,000 or nearly 7,000 lost on the enemy side, 4,000 lost on our side. Of course, it left a lot to be to subjugate Belgium very fast. So I'm going to grab um, Von Bulow, and I'm going to try to go straight for the forts of Antwerp. Uh, we've got Alexander von Kluck ready to go, although it may be a good idea to build a depot here right in the middle of the country. I actually think this will be a good idea. We've got another French unit right here led by Auguste Dubol, so I'm going to leave Max von Hausen to defend. And I'm going to take the Army Corps here, and hopefully we can simply capture this area. Uh, in fact, maybe we could leave this unit back to build the depot. I just don't know. I'd like to go straight for Brussels. So let's take Alexander von Kluck. We're going to have to do the depot later, and we're going to go for an offensive on Brussels. Uh, again, I'm not sure why this guy is unable to build the depot, but he's going to go to Mechelen here on the road and look for a fight as well. Everybody here is looking for a fight. Uh, if we need to do it, we're going to do it. Not to mention we've got some additional forces here uh, under Von Wirt, and we can grab one of these units, send him over here to merge with Von Wirt's unit. I think that's going to make him a lot stronger. Not to mention Von Proben. I told you about this, guys, and I've gotten some pretty amazing attacks with him in the past. So I am awfully tempted, and I mean awfully tempted, to try and carry out uh, some actual attacks with him here into the Brie region of France. Um, I've done it before with pretty successful outcomes um, but as you can see this guy needs few more units in his army that's going to be perfect so i am going to send him into the brie region of france like i said a bit of a crazy idea you know what we could do something smarter with this guy let's instead move him to the north to liege and we're going to see if we can move him by train if we can move him by train he can get there extremely quickly and actually assist in our capture of Belgium. And I think that's going to be the best idea for everybody. It's going to work out for everyone. So let's go ahead and get started here. We've got, of course, our, um, our attacks prepared. There's nothing I want to do in terms of regional decisions. We'll do some political decisions later um, if we can afford them. But for now, the regional decisions just aren't going to be important to me. Let's proceed. Good work, men, for the Kaiser, and here we go. Okay, come on, boys, come on. Let's just uh, go ahead and... So as you can see, the first squadron arrived in Brussels on the first day there. I hope this isn't going to be any sort of uh, counterattack opportunity, but seeing the actual British units show up is not making me feel confident. Here we go, Karl von Bula with a German victory at the forts of Namur. The forts of Namur, a difficult nut to crack. Nonetheless, we made it through. Uh, great work by von Bulow there. And hopefully the rest of our guys have that same momentum as they press on through the country. I don't like to see the massive French forces over here at Longvie, though. You know, obviously I was planning to attack there initially. No way would I attack there now. It's just way too unsafe. I, I'm not even sure we'd make it through to the end of the actual turn. Now look at all those French forces moving upwards into Belgium. They're trying to hold on to whatever is left. This is why it's so important. Another victory at so good about this one really expected von kluck to do better than that but he is von kluck after all warned you about this guy in the past now i what i really want is to take antwerp if we can take antwerp i'm going to feel a lot safer i'm just not sure we can do it this turn it does look like von bilo is nearly there so nearly there but he still goes for von kluck so von kluck is going to be arriving in two days von bilo is already here um, and should be attacking next turn and hopefully we go ahead and take Antwerp, really, you know, show that we are in control here. Now now that we've got Von Proben, we've also got another three-star general under, under Von Proben, which is wonderful. We are going to push Von Proben 
through Brussels to Mont. That's going to be the idea here is to try and get through Mont. So obviously we're going to have to go up north uh, to Louvain and then to the west. Uh, we, we can't just directly go over, although I wish we could. That would be pretty great. I'm also going to take Von Hausen. And with Von Hausen, let's first of all take him out of this overly aggressive stance. Let's get him just back into a defensive posture. Get him over here nearby. And I'm going to do the same with the Army Corps here. Just get him into a defensive posture. Although we can't be calm all throughout here. We've got to be somewhat aggressive, and that's why I'm continuing these offensives. Um, we just can't grow complacent during this battle. It's so easy for the enemy to get into Belgium and pretty much, you know, make it so difficult to take the rest of Belgium that we get stuck on this one line. We don't want that to happen. I'm actually confident in most of these attacks. I'm looking to see if we had any decisions, but I don't believe we do. Uh, the only thing I'm not confident about is leaving the Ardennes area open. That being said, we're going to have to leave it open at least temporarily here while we go ahead and search for greener pastures. Uh, I'm going to also take this unit here, the Army Corps, and put him in the Ardennes. We're still leaving a unit to defend the area. And just to be certain, we'll bring Von Moltke a bit closer. He's actually the leader of the entire army group. We'll do the same with some of these cavalry units. Just get them closer to the front lines in case we need to move quickly uh, in response to the enemy pressure here. I think that's about it. I'm confident with these attacks. So let's make it happen and let's hope it goes well for glorious central powers. A glorious is to hit that like button and drop a comment down below if we get enough views on getting to end all right moving into brussels for the assault it looks like they've got some reinforcements like how are we doing that that's what i want to know and a glorious victory guys at the antwerp and forts taking the city straight from the belgians now of course we weren't just facing belgians there but also some additional french forces it's pretty rare for the french to be so so happy to help the belgians here now von bulow did lose thirty thousand men in that fight the enemy lost twenty-seven thousand. and once again a german victory at the battle of brussels under von kluck I spoke so poorly about Von Kluck initially, but look at those casualties. They speak for themselves, guys. We destroyed 32 enemy tanks, 162 supply wagons, 48 pieces of artillery, and 30,000 men. I mean, this was, in every sense of the word, a uh, dramatic victory against Von Kluck. Also, getting rid of those tanks this early on in the war, absolutely magnificent work by our commander. They refuse to stop, guys. They won't give up here. They're going to keep trying to take these capital cities back. And as you can see, the French have even sent in one of their uh, one of their commanders, not a well-known commander, simply sent in whatever they could to try and take us out. And all of our reserve divisions, as well as our really, really good artillery here, our howitzer regiments with a power of 24 and 38, respectively, as well as the army corps under our friends von Liesingen and von Lokau, have done incredibly well. And I mean incredibly well well even with low hit probabilities we managed to kill 24,000 of the enemy now they're trying to bleed our army they're trying to knock it down as much as possible and that's why i think very soon here what we absolutely have to do is build a supply depot in one of these areas and make sure that we're getting consistent supplies to our army while they're here in belgium now we have almost half the country but that's only half the fight as you can see there's a lot left to do here before we actually play the to actually get along the line, set up a defensive barrier, and of course take the capital cities. Uh, without those, I don't think we can get a victory in this particular campaign. And Wolfsburg proves himself now, I know that wasn't much of a battle, but killing 12,300 men is no easy task, and we also took the city of Brussels. So again, a very good offensive starting line. The only thing we can be nervous is that open gap behind our lines. And let's just hope that this general takes that area quickly and puts an end to that combat.
All right. It looks like one of our generals has gone a little French regulars. I'm not so sure he should be here. And that's Wilhelm von Prüben. So we're going to keep Wilhelm von Prüben right there. And I'm actually, I spoke about creating a supply depot before. I'm going to try to get a supply depot built right in that area. I'm going to do the same with von Kluck. Just going to put him in de defensive um, mode and just stay right here and at Brussels. While uh, he's there, I'll move Von Hausen forward to defend the Brussels area. I want to get there as quickly as pro as possible. So let's see if we can't move by rail lands. It's still going to take 15 days. So you know what? Yeah, let's just go ahead and walk. In fact, that would be faster. Um, five days by rail there going through the northern rail passages. We just cannot lose these locations. And I think um, Friedrich Six von Amen can just stay here and defend against the pro possible pushes through Dinan. This is an area we didn't yet take. You know what, actually? We're going to have to change our plans a little bit. We're going to have to go for Dinan. It's quite clear. Um, we can't go for an offensive yet, but we can stay outside the city and prepare to take it. And look at that. Von Einem has captured this location. So a lot of thinking to do for the next round. Uh, in this particular series, please, if the more armchair generals, the better. If you want to share your thoughts, how you would approach this situation, do let us know in the comments down below. I'm going to do this for every single one of our Aegeods Let's Plays, and that is I want to show you the casualties at the end of our turn here. We lost 54,400 men, but we have killed 146,000 of the Entente's soldiers. So I say right now, we're doing extraordinarily well. Let's see if that continues. Stay tuned for episode two.